Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to North Dakota Today. June is National Men's Health Month, which means the Men's Health Month is an annual observance aimed at raising awareness of preventable health problems and encouraging early detection and treatment of disease among men and boys. So we have Rory here from Sanford to tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning, Joey, and thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. This is an um, important topic. So can you please tell us a little bit more about Men's Health Month in and of itself? Yeah, so it's a, it's a month where you observe, um, basically kind of have conversations like this, mm -hmm. bring awareness to the men's health. Um, usually we start seeing individuals at a fairly young age. Um, a lot of individuals ne don't necessarily have a certain medical condition. Okay. However, once we start getting to about 40, 45 years of age, we start usually wanting to see patients on a more regular basis. That's when the screenings start kind of kicking in. Mm -hmm. um, things we look for is high blood pressure, diabetes, we check for cholesterol. Once you start getting to that 45 years of age, now we start screening for colon cancer. Okay. Um, that's your average risk for individuals. Um, now, if there's individuals that have high risk or family history of um, colon cancer, then we start screening at an earlier age. Once we start getting to 50, 55 years of age, then we start screening men for prostate cancer. There's a lot of different okay. societies, a lot of different guidelines that have different recommendations. So depends on which one you follow, that's when you start mm -hmm. doing, uh, excuse me, prostate cancer screenings. Yeah, okay, of course. Um, and so it did mention boys. So is there anything that kind of um, stands out in the boys' health? Not, not necessarily specifically boys, it's just, mm -hmm. um, for them, it's just learning good lifestyle um, okay. choices, um, getting exercise on a regular basis, abstaining mm -hmm. from any alcohol, um, drugs, those type of things. Okay, yeah, um, that makes sense. So how can men help themselves stay healthy? The biggest thing for men is making sure that they have a point of contact, getting set up for annual uh, wellness visits with their primary okay. care provider. If something were to come up during the middle of the year or throughout the year, there's um, things that men can um, come in to see the provider for, so yeah. it's a good contact point for them to have. Okay, absolutely. And you said annual visits, so that should just be once a year kind of thing, getting in the habit of that, definitely. So is it an issue that men don't see a doctor enough? Uh, it can be. Okay. Um, it's like I said, it's it's something that um, if they have chronic conditions, usually we see them on a every three month basis, every six month basis. It depends on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. um, if there's specific conditions that they have, like diabetes, if it's controlled, we want to see them every six months. If it's uncontrolled, every three months. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is we want to help prevent uh, the progression of the disease and also possible sure. contributing factors for heart attacks and strokes. Oh, for sure, absolutely. So why do men need a primary doctor? Uh, like I said, it's it's a it's a good uh, it's a good thing to for individuals to have that point of contact. Yeah. Um, in case if something were to happen, um, go in there, meet somebody, meet the provider, meet a primary care provider. Um, that way, they have that person that they can contact if something mm -hmm. were to happen. Yeah, absolutely. So, how can if someone has a stubborn spouse that won't see the doctor, how can someone um, try to persuade them to see a doctor? That's, that's funny you ask that because on a regular basis, I would say almost on a daily basis, I have a patient that comes in a man that comes in saying that um, I'm only here because my significant other wants me here or my wife's here or my wife oh, made me come here yeah. or the wife drags them in. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so if they didn't have that person in their life, like what advice would you give them to just try to get out to the doctor? I think the biggest thing is that it's important for individuals to, especially men, uh, it's okay to be vulnerable. Yeah. And when you put yourselves in a vulnerable position or a vulnerable situation, that's when you actually push yourself forward and become a better version of yourself. And so I think it's very important for men to realize that it's okay to be vulnerable, it's mm -hmm. okay to put yourself in those positions to help propel you to a better you. Yeah, absolutely. And if um, a, a man that's kind of reaching that age where they should be having those screenings, but maybe they don't have the certain kind of resources for it, is there anything that they can do to just kind of check on themselves at home? So, there, I mean, I guess the biggest thing would be just making sure that you set up an appointment with, with the provider, you know, www.sanfordhealth.org. Yep. You can find uh, your provider there if you so wish. Um, if you want specific for a male provider, if you want a female provider, that's out there for you to, to specifically look for what type of pro provider that you would like. Okay, perfect, yeah. And then just in general for men that are at home um, and they do have the annual checkups, that's a, our main priority, but they want to just continue to kind of um, oversee their health in a way that they can do at home. Is that like blood pressure checks? Is there anything else that you could advise? Yeah, so like I said, when they come in for their annual wellness checks, um, usually we check a blood pressure. Okay. We'll get annual labs on them for the most part. Mm -hmm. It's very 
uh, patient specific as well, the type of disease prognosis or disease progression that they have. Um, so there's some things that we normally do and there's, there's individuals that do come in on a monthly basis just to get their blood pressure checked. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I'm going to go back to the vulnerability state of that. Is there anything else that you can advise men to be more comfortable in coming to the hospital? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about today was, was men's mental health. Okay. Um, on a regular basis, I see men coming in and they just break down. Yeah. Um, there's been a few instances where I've actually had individuals come in, they're about ready to leave and they turn around, they sit back down and it's just, it's just waterworks. And it's very, um, very humbling experience for a provider to sit there, talk with him at one of their most vulnerable times. Right. They put themselves in that position, in that vulnerable situation that they uh, open up to you mm -hmm. and they just kind of spill everything and let everything out. So mm -hmm. if it's one thing that I can get out there today is to talk about men's mental health. Yeah, absolutely. And finding a provider that makes you comfortable absolutely. enough to be vulnerable like that. So one more time, where can people find providers at Sanford? So SanfordHealth.org. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Rory, for thank talking you, on that really important topic. We have your daily dose of motivation up after the break.